Over the past few years, portable Bluetooth speakers have gotten quite popular, but why settle on just a Bluetooth speaker when you can have so much more with a full feature jam box like this Hernito boom box? Now this does have Bluetooth connectivity, but I can also play CDs, I can play MP3s off of a thumb drive, I can play AM and FM radio. It has an auxiliary input so I can plug other devices into it. Has headphone jack on it as well so I don't have to listen through these speakers. I can listen through a pair of headphones and these speakers are putting out more than you would think for something this size. I'll have the full review of the Hernito boombox that's coming up on Thrifty AV. I want to start with a quick disclaimer that the folks at Hernito sent over this boombox at no charge to me. If they want this boombox back, they can ask for it. I am not being paid for this review and all opinions in this video are my own. Now this is already out of the box, so let's back up and check out the unboxing. This Hernito boombox comes in a pretty much a plain cardboard box. It's certainly something that could be gift wrapped easily enough. All right, in the top of the box here, there's a power cord. It's a Panasonic style power cord. It does have a remote here. Uh, instructions with an 18 month warranty card. And here is the boom box. Oh, batteries for the remote. Let's take it out of the bag here. And the compact disc was opened up there. To open and close it, you push on the corner right there. Volume, track backward, track forward, play pause, tuning mode, uh, shuffle and stop. Okay, the front has a power light and a stereo light, the LCD display and the stereo speakers. On the side here is a USB jack, an auxiliary in, and a headphone jack. There is an on-off switch in the back, and that's where you plug in the power cord. Let's plug it in. When I plugged it in, I got this red power light. The antenna pulls out, and once fully extended, you can position it now there is an on off switch toggle on the back, but to actually turn this thing on, you have to hit the uh, volume slash power button and hold it down for three seconds. Then the LCD lights up and it's showing FM mode right here. To best demonstrate the radio preset feature, I've gone outside. Uh, it's a little bit windy out here, but I'm gonna be able to get better radio reception than I would indoors. To store the presets, I'm gonna hit the play pause button when I am in radio mode. And now it is going through the frequencies and each time it finds a station, it's going to store that radio station, that FM radio station into a preset. It's gonna use presets one through 20. Now, if you live in a market where you have more than 20 radio stations that it can pick up, I'm not sure what it'll do uh, after 20. Uh, in this market, it's only gonna pick up a few, maybe four or five, maybe it's picked up six so far. It's picked up six radio stations and now it's picked up seven and I can go through those radio stations. There's the second, there's the third one. There's the fourth one. There's the fifth one, there's the sixth one, there's the seventh. Checking out AM reception, I should get something around 1000 kilohertz and there it is. So I'm picking up some uh, Christmas music here on the AM dial and it's coming in loud and clear. The next thing I want to test is the CD feature. When you have it in CD mode, the font that says CD is really small. But if you don't have a disc loaded, the no is pretty big there. Let's go ahead and load up a disc. 
This is the Bakerton Group. Hopefully I won't get hit with a copyright strike. When setting the CD into this jam box, it actually has to be clipped in. But it feels nice and secure. I kind of like the fact that it has to be clipped in. And then you can close the door right there. And I'm going to hit play. It didn't take long to spin up. I'll turn the volume up. I'm actually pretty impressed with the bass that's coming out of these really small speakers here. The volume button is a multi-function button that also acts as EQ. The EQ is currently flat and you don't see any EQ settings displayed here. If I hit this multi-function button, it now says pop. So this would be for pop music. I now have it set to jazz. I now have it set to classic. And now I have it set to rock. And rock is the appropriate EQ setting for the Bakerton group. Now the user manual mentions that it supports CD audio, CDR, and CDRW, but it doesn't talk about what type of data you can have on the CDs. Now this has MP3 files on this CD. It's still the Bakerton group. This is just the MP3 version, and I'm going to see if that'll play. And it is playing. I don't believe I put the songs in the right order though. I've taken the CDR out of the CD player and right now it says there's no CD. I'm going to go ahead and hit mode. And the next mode is USB mode and there's no USB plugged in, but I have one in my hand here. So let's plug this in. Okay, apparently it's reading it and it started playing it instantly. So, and this is Bakerton Group still. So the USB is playing just fine. Now I'm going to pause it for a second. This is a FAT32 uh, file structure on this USB drive. I've tried to use an EXFAT uh, formatted drive and it did not work. I have not tried NTFS, but I do know that FAT32 works. So that's what I'm going to use with this boombox. The next mode is going to be Bluetooth. And it says BT. And it had a little noise there to let you know that Bluetooth was active. On your phone or other Bluetooth devices, this shows up as Hernito CB301B. I'm going to go ahead and pair that up. Okay, I have Bakerton Group on YouTube here. The Hernido Jambox uses a Bluetooth 5, which is the latest and greatest, and it sounds just fine. It sounds as good as a wired connection to me, so I have no problem with the Bluetooth feature on the Hernido Boombox. Let's try the next mode. The next mode is auxiliary. That would be a wired connection. Let's see how it sounds. Oh, the phone turned its volume down. I just turned it back up. It's playing just fine. The user manual says that the Hernito boombox uses a 2000 milliamp hour 18650 battery, which is just like the one in my hand here. And you might think this isn't very much battery, but this thing's been going for five hours straight unplugged. That's about when I started shooting this review and it's still going. Now, the display does not show how much battery life is left in this boombox, so I don't know if there's an hour left or five hours left or five seconds left, but it has been going for quite some time on one charge. Now there is no user accessible battery compartment on this boombox, so you're not going to be able to change out this battery without digging into the device and I would not advise that unless you know what you're doing. As far as features on the Hernito boombox, I was very impressed. I liked the preset feature on the FM radio. Uh, the AM radio sounded fine. CD audio sounded fine. Uh, it played CDRs with MP3s on them, even though it doesn't say anything about supporting that in the booklet here. The USB was able to play MP3 files. Supposedly it'll also play Windows Media files. Now I got it to work with FAT32 file structure on the USB. 
EX fat did not work. I did not test NTFS. The Bluetooth 5 feature worked great. I thought it sounded awesome and the auxiliary input also worked. And I like the fact that it came with a full feature remote. Now I haven't dug into the specs on this. I haven't done a frequency sweep to test out these speakers. I haven't checked the noise floor on the CD player. Sometimes mechanical noise can creep into the audio signal on these devices. If you'd be interested in me doing a little deeper dive on the Hernito boombox, let me know in the comments and I'll see what I can do. If you enjoyed this video, smash that like button. Thank you to my patrons for supporting this channel and remember, stay thrifty everyone.